Hey guys, welcome back to Kenny Beauty. So, I am not wearing anything on my lips today. Can you guess why that might be? It is because today we are going to be taking a look and reviewing, well, I don't know about reviewing because I'm kind of partial to this brand, but we're going to be taking a look and testing out the new Lisa Aldridge Fall Lip Collection. She came out with four new shades of the True Velvet Matte Lipsticks, um, along with some new gloss embraces, and basically every shade of her lipsticks, and I think every shade, even the other, even not the True Velvets, but the other line as well, there's the True Velvet line, and then there is the other line that's more of a glossy, sort of hydrating sort of look and I think she came up with pencils that match every single lipstick shade there is in her collection. She also restocked a lot of other lipsticks as well and here's the thing about Lisa Eldridge launches okay is that like when she launches you have to grab it because otherwise it's gone and then you don't get a chance to get it for at least like eight months to a year. I think she only launches a twice a year oh, and her lipsticks are so so amazing um so i i don't expect anything less from these new shades however we're going to take a look and decide for ourselves and see how this new full lunch unfolds if you guys are new here thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel tap the bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos and releases we talk a lot about makeup here at Kenny Beauty and it's a fun time and we'd love to have you. Oh my goodness, and I almost forgot, as usual, what is on my face today? What is on my face today? I don't even remember. I have so much goodness on. Okay, so I have my P. Louise Base Primer on my eyes. I have my Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane palette along with my Game Beauty Adventure palette. So good, you guys. So good. Love their products. Also, I have a code Kendi. Um... It should be in the description box down below. It's K-E-N-D-I if it's not by now, but you get a discount site-wide on that. Um, I'm also wearing the new Terra Moons Cosmetics Fall Equinox shade in, what is it called? Um, Solar Expansion, I believe. Yes, Solar Expansion. I have the Dior Backstage no powder powder on along with my hourglass veal setting spray i have my rare beauty concealer on today along with my nars soft chantilly um and then i am wearing the givenchy prisma libre powder as well and i do have the linda hallberg mood crayons on along with my new favorite drugstore mascara <clears throat> the elf big mood mascara i don't have lashes on today believe it or not I'm giving my eyes a little rester a little breather from the eyelash glue so i really just think that this does an amazing job so so good um and then i'm also wearing my new fave for my sephora haul the charlotte tilbury um, airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder in the shade deep is like a contour um, and I have the Sigma Beauty Cinderella blush and cheek blush and highlight cheek duo on all right so let's get right into it okay so first of all here is the package Lisa was not playing around this time you guys like look at this I don't even feel like I ordered that much stuff this time around like last launch I ordered a lot more I wish she would have had these big boxes then but I have a feeling this is probably new to her because I remember getting like two smaller boxes last time so she must have her boxes are always so like classic though and beautiful just mm, chef's kiss okay so I didn't pick up any of the luxuries luxuriously lucent line even though I did skip out her last launch on some of those shades I wanted to pick them up but then I was like candy you know what you only have so much money so pick pick and choose your battles sweetheart so anyways I decided just to get the new shades um, I did pick up all four of the new true velvet matte lipstick shades in let's see hold on 
What are the four shades? Okay. Um, Velvet Cinnabar, which I think is her favorite because in her video she just goes on and on and on. Velvet Intrigue. Velvet Petal. And then Velvet Blush Lightly. So Velvet Blush is actually already a shade in her collection. However, and see, this is, I love it when brands or makeup artists or like brands in general listen to their customers. So she basically said the only reason she came out with the Velvet Blush Lightly was because all of us had been saying like, oh, we really love the shade Velvet Blush, but it's just a little too dark. You know, what do you recommend? And so she came up with a whole new shade just for all of us whiners, which is awesome. And I believe like Wayne Goss did the same thing. We had all been complaining about the blacks in his palettes and so he decided not to, to do the blacks anymore. So anyway, it's really cool when owners of companies and brands listen to their consumers. I think more brands should do that more frequently. Um, all right, so and then I also got two of the new lip gloss gloss embrace. I actually have a ton of these. I know the formula is good, so I just picked up the two shades I was most interested in. There were, I think, some other shades as well. That I think there was a velvet petal shade as well. There weren't as many new shades of these. Um, and then she has, like I said, like a thousand pencils, all of the luxuriously lucent line, and the velvet matte lipstick line that matched all of those lipsticks. I already have some of her lip liners. From my other, um, from her other collections that she came out with, when she came out with the um, floral bags that were so pretty. Oh, I just realized I didn't get any bags this time. Did she not do the bags this time? Does anybody know? I just thought about that. I'm like, wait a second. I don't remember. Usually she'll like gift one if you get. Hmm. I'm wondering. Does anybody else know? Does anybody else order Lisa Eldridge stuff? Like, where are the bags this time? Because I really love her bags. They're really, really pretty. Um, hmm, maybe I just got like, maybe they forgot mine in my order, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, anyways, I have the pencils in other shades. I do like the pencil formula, it's beautiful. I just, I don't really wear lip pencils a lot. Um, usually not at all, so I just decided, and I just got that Melt Cosmetics one that I'm really in love with it. So I just decided to skip out on the lip pencils this time around. So anyways, enough blabbering. Let's just get on with this. I think I'm going to put on the glosses first just because I don't have anything on my lips. And I know that the lipsticks will probably leave a little bit of a tint. If you guys are not familiar with her Gloss Embrace formula, it is so good, it is so healing. It's got, I believe, vitamin E and just like a lot of beautiful, beautiful um, ingredients that just basically act like a lip mask and gloss all in one. It's, oh, it's just amazing. Okay, so this is the shade Charm. This was, I believe, the summer, a summer shade. I'm just going to swatch it on my hand first and then put it on my lips. Okay, so this is that very opaque like you guys can see just see that shine in that gloss formula it's so beautiful oh, and it really feels like heaven on the lips really really it does Ooh, I like how it's a very a very like these are the type of glosses you could use with a liner and call it you know and be done or you could do it as like a one and done you don't even I like that they're more opaque most glasses are not as opaque and pigmented with this formula oh my gosh that is so so pretty I don't even want to take that off look at oh my gosh I was not I knew I would like this color but I didn't know I was gonna like it this much what a beautiful shade Lisa Oh my gosh, so pretty. And I forgot like just how great her formula is. I have all of my Lisa lipsticks and glosses and everything pencils in a box still packed somewhere that I put like I put like all of my to die for stuff like in a separate triple packed bubble wrap sort of situation. So I have not yet unboxed all of that stuff. 
still working on getting organized you guys but I just forgot until just now putting this on my lips how beautiful the formula is I already feel like my lips like smoothing out the lines healing and just filling and plumping so gorgeous okay so this is a new shade and this is the shade dragon oh I should probably do like little close-ups huh that would be helpful sorry guys okay so this is dragon right here let me get out charmed again did I show you guys that I don't I'm like so just I you guys this these products of hers just make me go like gaga I'm just like uh, like I love 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 all of her products I oh my god I would die I would die if she came out with eyeshadow she is coming out with foundation I believe she um like she included some free samples and there were sample packs oh my gosh this dragon color is so so stunning for fall oh my gosh I was debating whether to get this or not I was like is it gonna be too rich because you guys know like I'm more of like a nude pinkish coralish person but that is beautiful it looks more orange on camera but in person it's more sort of of a like a brick orange if that makes sense like an autumn-y sort of burnt orange oh this is so I'm so glad I got these why didn't I get more I should have just not held back and gotten more I still have to use the ones I have though so I need to just calm down And the other thing, like, I just made a mistake. I like about her products, too, is they're very manipulative. Manipulatable. <laughs> Not manipulative. <laughs> but, like, you can, you know, if you mess up, it's very easy to fix it right at first. And then also, they don't, like, smudge. So, like, you have that time where if you want to fix something, you can. And then, and then after... They just kind of stay put. I know I always talk about the Pat McGrath gloss formula and like I just forget. I think it's because I kind of consider her glosses more of like a healing balm. But I just forget how amazing these are. I think also these shades she's starting to come out with in the gloss embrace are way way more up my alley than like the first launch I got the majority of mine in her first launch when she first launched the gloss embraces and I wasn't as big of a fan of the colors as I am of these two new shades to my collection so this shade dragon is definitely a new new to everyone shade and then the shade charm is i believe was in her last launch i want to say so it's not really new to the line it's just new to me oh my gosh this is so so beautiful i don't even need lipstick like this is so gorgeous I'm just like, yes, please give me more, Lisa. Give me more. And I don't know about you guys, but like I can already see my lips plumping up just from having the gloss embrace on for that little amount of time. All right, so next we're going to go in with the True Velvet Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade Velvet Blush Lightly. And here's what, here's what it looks like. I mean, it's... It's the magnetic, it's luxe, it's high-end, it just, it feels weighted, it's beautiful, just beautiful. Oh, such a beautiful shade. Yes, she definitely needed to come out with this one. And am I the only one that wants, like, Lisa Eldridge's lips? she has the perfect lip shape I'm just like 
if I were to ever get anything done to my lips, I would bring in a picture of her and be like, this is what I want. Give me those lips. <laughs> Again, like really easy to fix. I kind of just goofed. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh, again, this is Velvet Blush Lightly. Okay, I'm trying the best to get this off. I mean, this is just like the stain powder of these True Matte lip, lipsticks from her. It's just amazing. Um, just literally amazing. So I tried my best. I thought that the blush Lightly was going to be the lightest shade but maybe it's not okay okay so let's go with a lighter shade this is a velvet intrigue again just beautiful 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 design everything about her lipsticks are beautiful there's velvet intrigue Wow, look at that shade. That is right up my alley. You guys know I love those sort of shades on the lips. Okay, next up we have a Velvet Petal. Let's just swatch this on the hand. Okay, I wasn't sure which was darker. So Velvet Petal is definitely more of a coral whereas velvet intrigue is more of a nude and then velvet blush is more of a i would say like blush pink hmm. this however does not this looks more pink on the lips and less coral though is that me or are these shades kind of similar I feel like, uh, well, no, not on the hand. On the hand, they are not similar at all. Ooh, that is actually pretty. All right. Yeah, I guess they're really not similar. I was thinking they looked a little bit similar. These are so, so beautiful. And they just, I don't know if you can tell, when I apply them, they just feel so hydrating and smooth. They just smooth out like all of the lines that you have in your lips. They look so glamorous and luxe and high-end. Seriously, one of the best lipstick formulas out there. All right, and last but not least is Velvet Cinnabar, the acclaimed, proclaimed she raved about this one in her video so okay so here she is oh my gosh oh this looks so beautiful cinnabar oh wow oh so so rich Okay, so here we have the Gloss and Brace swatches once again, and here are the True Velvet Matte Lipstick shades. I think I'm just going to go back over the Cinnabar with my Dragon Gloss just because I'm not going to lie, my, my little baby lips are feeling sort of parched right now. Plus, I feel like those two is a color combination the dragon gloss over top of the cinnabar is just going to be such a killer autumn fall combo yes it is look at that shine okay so i mean i don't even think we need to do final thoughts here because i'm sure you guys already know what my final thoughts are on this fall launch that she came out with just stunning. The True Velvet Matte Lipsticks retail for $36. 
The gloss and braces retail for $25. Um, you can also get, she has highlighters, she has lip pencils. She's coming out with a foundation soon. So I'm super excited. I do want to try that. We'll see. I don't know when she's launching the foundation, but I can only imagine it's going to be beautiful. Everything she has come out with to date has just been amazing. I love her gloss and brace formula. I love her velvet matte lipstick formula. I love the uh, luxuriously lucent formula, which is like a high shine lipstick, more of a like a satiny wet sort of a look beautiful those are beautiful as well those are $36 just everything she came up with the perfect colors I feel like for fall so so good so good she just always never never fails to just go above and beyond my wildest expectations so yeah I mean I think this is beautiful if you guys have not already tried like literally even if you have no money trust me and I know, I know we're not wearing lip products right now, I know, and that's why I scaled back too, but even if you can just get one thing from her line, you will not, not regret it. I, you know, you will not regret it. Her lip formulas are better than most designer high-end, like, they're so, so, so good. She used to work from Lancome, I don't know if you guys knew that, um, she does a lot of celebs, makeup she still works as a um, makeup artist from time to time I just I her formulas are just so beautiful on the lips so I definitely recommend you guys going out and trying like I said at least one thing some of her items are out of stock but not all of them and I do recommend just pick up one you will not regret it Anyways, you guys, definitely comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on all these new shades on this lipstick. Do you have any Lisa Eldridge products at home? Let me know what is your favorite lipstick or your go-to, even if it's gloss, because I know like a lot of us are not wearing lipsticks, and I think that's why she kind of scaled it back and came out with like the Intrigue and the Petal more softer colors, um, just because I think sh a lot of people aren't wearing lip products the way they used to. But I do love the richness of the Cinnabar. Mm, so good. And the Gloss and Brace is so healthy for the lips. Like I said, I could literally see my lips transforming as we went throughout the video from putting the Gloss and Brace on first. So, so good. Alright, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.